Well, Congress has been back in session for more than two months, but the day one repeal of Obamacare, remember that, the one we were promised, it has not materialized. Vice President Mike Pence said today that the Republican Party has a unified outlook on this and a repeal is coming soon. Yet some conservatives are already saying that the likely replacement is just diet Obamacare. Eric Novak is an orthopedic surgeon who's long been a critic of Obamacare. He says any replacement the Republican Party passes must promote transparent pricing or it will do nothing to fix the rot at the heart of our health care system. Dr. Novak joins us tonight from Phoenix. Doctor, thanks a lot for coming on. So, Thank you, Tucker. How do you get to that? I mean, it's it, it often noted that most patients have no idea what anything costs in their journey through the medical system. How do you fix that? Well, the, the lack of transparency has been a big issue at every level of health care for a long time. And we just have to take a step back and figure out why it's important. If we look at health care spending in the country, one half of the country, so about 165 million people, only account for a little bit less than 3% of the costs, which means that they spend on average less than $300 a year on health care services. Okay. So we need to be thinking about how can we put policies in place that really encourage people to get access to those prices uh, and be able to use their own resources to get it. Huh, to get, use their own resources to get the prices or to pay for their own health care? Well, to pay for it, I think one of the challenges that we've seen is with the massive increase in prices of premiums. Right. Not only are people seeing the significant co-pays, co-insurance, deductibles go way up, but the complexity of getting the care has gone up, and the premiums have skyrocketed, yeah. not only in the individual market, but also for the employer market as well when you look at the family policies and deductibles. Yeah, it's crushed a lot of people. So if you were rewriting Obama, if you were replacing Obamacare with something better, what are the first two or three things you'd do? Well, I think you need to recognize that it did create a new entitlement. And uh, yes. conservatives and fans of limited government would love to wipe it clean. But the reality is that insurers, hospitals, and providers have spent six years spending literally hundreds of millions of dollars trying to adapt. So simply wiping the slate clean will not be effective. So I think there needs to be a recognition of that. Yes. Uh, we need to recognize that an open-ended entitlement of Medicaid is being abused by all the states, including the Republican-driven ones. And the, really, the country and the federal government has to get a handle on that and make that stop. Huh. The abuse of Medicaid. So how would you, how would you make that stop? By, by not reimbursing at the rates we are? No, I think one of the things that even President Obama had in several budgets is a recognition that the way states get federal funding is very easily gamed. And actually, you have many Democrats on record saying that that system wasn't effective uh, and could be too easily abused. Right. So there is a whole series of tricks and techniques that really states spend hundreds of thousands of dollars or even more on consultants a year to try to figure out how to pull down tens of millions of dollars more of, of, uh, of taxpayer course. federal money. So figuring out some way that we can either block grant or capitate it in a way that there can be some control of this is incredibly important. So in Obamacare, I think the mandate is the least popular part, according to polling, and the most popular part is the pre-existing conditions part that insurers have to take you even if you're already sick. Can you have a system that requires insurers to do that without having a mandate for everyone to buy insurance? Well, I think you can come up with solutions that get at it from a different direction. So the first thing to recognize is while half the country spends almost no money on health care, a very small percentage of the country spends the vast majority of the dollars. And societally, we are not going to let those people go by the wayside. Right. And so finding some ways whether it is through high risk pool funding or reinsurance funding uh, through the individual and even employer market to be able to allow some of those high cost individuals to be pulled out so that these families that are now paying three, four, five hundred dollars a month right. only to have the luxury of having a six thousand dollar deductible can exactly. see those costs come down. That's exactly right. And a small group of healthy people, I mean, the bulk of healthy people supporting a small group of high cost patients. Dr. Novak, thanks for joining us. That was interesting. Thank you.